More American cities are falling and falling hard. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting, pull no punches with sugar coating and rainbows of sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as I blow the lid off the U.S. economy and the U.S. housing market. Why you ask? Well, of course I'm going to tell you. Tied, to, not this kind of tie, tied like this together. If we lose one, we lose them both, my friends. That's the realities of the waters we're swimming in now. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in history. Centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some iron today, my friends. My job is to protect you. See, our rewards in life are in direct proportion to our, our contribution. Would I, be con would I be contributing to you if I told you there was zero crash risk? No problem here. Let's go buy. Don't even worry about it. Don't watch the news. Don't believe it. No, no, no. That is not what would help you. What helps you is understanding that the pa path to wealth is, in fact, in real estate, but it might not be buying at the top of the biggest bubble ever produced unorganically due to market manipulation stimulus in world history. This bubble exhibited more volatile behavior than any other bubble prior. So anybody minimizing the severity of that probably not only wants to sell you a house, they need to sell you a house. Why? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you they drank the stimulus Kool-Aid they thought this time would be different. The only thing that was different, my friends, you guessed it, this time was worse. This time is worse. So today we're going to jump over and examine part of the good old, what used to be the good old US of A. What happens when you overheat the housing market the way we did in this one? You see, this one is, like I said, very different because it also included a lockdown, a stay at home order, a shutdown of not only a local economy, not only a national economy, a world economy was shut down temporarily and the can got kicked too far down the road until all kinds of craziness started to manifest. Like I've always said, throw the playbook out the window. The data won't save you. There's a lot of black swan events, basically is what that means. That you, there's no data for us to pull from. That's why you have to read between the lines and look between the cracks with a new lens. See, I want you to become rich in real estate if that's what you want. Because if you don't, I know you have friends or family or loved ones that you would love to see make smart choices. So it all becomes the path to wealth in real estate, or at least understanding it in a way that makes enough, enough sense that you don't go walking off a cliff like 10 million people potentially did when they bought at the height of the biggest bubble ever produced in world history. So to drive our point home, let's jump over, check out today's property and what's going on in their local city, and then we're gonna meet back here to wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, friends, buckle up and strap in. Let's head over to today's featured property. Uh-oh, roll up your windows, lock your doors, maybe even put on that face mask if you still have one. It's looking a little rough in downtown Portland. Let's see what their real estate is doing. Now let's bring up our crash map, courtesy of our good friends over at Zillow. Everything on your screen going through the kiss of death price reductions. Well, 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 what do we have here? Maybe go ahead and pull that face mask off. I think we're safe. This house looks pretty good. Clean, move-in ready, a single family home, not a FOMO factory, and an existing insulated neighborhood from some of the free fall that might occur with brand new construction with bubble buyers. Now let's read between the lines and look between the cracks. And what do we see here? The property's description. What else do we see here? A novel. It's a mile long. Somebody's desperate. Somebody needs to sell. Let's keep looking. As we can see here, this neighborhood's going through a downward trend. Our property's stuck on the market for approximately $370,000, which is, in fact, its mid-range value. Its lower value range is around $358,000. They're not getting in front of this one. They're chasing the market. Uh-oh, it gets better or worse, depending on how you're looking at it. What do we see here? Our property is fast approaching pre-pandemic pricing. Let's look a little further. Now, the million-dollar question, 
Does it pencil out? If we were silly enough to give them their current asking price, our approximate cost to carry with a standard amount down at today's interest rate would be approximately $2,200 a month. Now, let's see what it would rent for. Well, 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 what do we have here? Our property does in fact pencil out. Its cost to carry is well within its rent range. This would be a safe buy, yet it's getting overlooked. Why? Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So what do you think? Can I interest you a house in Portland, Oregon? Throw a dart at a map of the US, you will hit a city behaving just like the one we looked at today. See, one of the things that the data won't give us, when you have lockdowns and then it, it it, and then a failure of leadership to, to manage a city, that is the byproduct of what we looked at today. Is that helping people's real estate there? Of course not, because I showed you a property today. If I was in the market, if I was taking you shopping, these are the metrics I want to look at. Standard amount down, today's interest rate. Can the property stand on its own two feet? Meaning, even if it's not a rental, we need to know its rent range. If you want to know the exact value of a property, you need to know what it would rent for, even if it's not a rental. Why? Of course, I'm going to tell because you. Because it's so very important that you sleep well at night knowing if anything ever happened to you, your income, or the economy, you don't have to lose the house. Its purchase price and interest rate becomes less important because you know someone else can make the payment. And maybe, just maybe, I can talk you in to building wealth and real estate and we can buy another property, keep this one, put a renter in there, let them make the payment cash flow on that property and stack up a handful of properties. This is the way to buy property. Listen, friends, investors aren't over at Lennar. They're not over at KB. They're not over at any DR Hortons. They're not over at any of the brand new build shopping. They're not there because there's no deals there. They're, we might be getting close. We might be getting close. But even for me, let's say I walked into Lennar's development and they're slashing prices like crazy and i wouldn't do a rate buy down a 30-year traditional fix that's all i'm interested in does that house does my house handle its rent range can it stand it on its own two feet if so i'll look at this house but here's the challenge the majority of people that bought in that development didn't get their house to pencil out so if and when a foreclosure crisis comes and every time the market's exhibited bubble behavior they've come which areas get hit first? The bubble buyers that went, above, or went bought at the top of the market. And these FOMO factory homes, meaning they have model homes built first, tour people through, get fall in love with finishes and furnishings, and they buy the home. Don't They don't share if the property pencils out. That's the last thing. They don't even want me marching on these developments representing you. They want you to walk in without representation, double in the deal, and then sell at the top. That's what they're geared to do. A lot of people in trouble. Now, this property we looked at today, that's a property I look at. Now, we I showed you what's going on in the city. This house could have been for, far away from what's going on in that city. Unfortunately, what's going on in their city is still taking a bite out of real estate values. But this, in fact, is the right way to look at properties. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history couldn't sustain itself. It's having its blowback. Some cities right now, as we speak, pencil out. But if there's systemic failure within the city, it's going to still make it hard for people to go buy in that environment. We're going to continue to heat map and temperature check this thing every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. You appreciate the content. I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video on your screen. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.